Well, the second round of the Burundi dialogue started Tuesday in Arusha, Tanzania. Facilitated by Tanzania's former president, Benjamin William Kappa, the talks which are expected to end on Friday seek to resolve a political crisis that has raised fears Burundi might slide into an ethnic conflict. Thomas Periella, the U.S. Special Envoy for the Great Lakes region of Africa, is attending the talks. He spoke to VOA's Frederick Kekundikijes shortly before he left for Arusha. We know there have been concerns raised by both sides. Uh, the opposition has made very clear that they expect to be seated as a united opposition uh, under the auspices of Sonara, the opposition coalition. Um, and they have presented in multiple forums the importance uh, of that being uh, seated in a unified fashion. We know that President Kappa has been working with them on whether there is some way to proceed, uh, and we are looking for all sorts of creativity and urgency in how this can be solved because we think it's so important to get everyone together, even if that ends up being shuttle diplomacy rather than everyone at a single table. Uh, the government has raised concerns about the location in Arusha. Uh, we actually think the location doesn't matter as long as it's a safe space, uh, though certainly reinforcing the importance of the Arusha Accords that ended so many uh, years and even decades of a cycle of violence in the country is a good reminder of the stakes uh, that are at play here for, for civilians across Burundi. Former Tanzanian President uh, uh, Benjamin Kappa met with uh, Senared, the opposition alliance in Brussels a few weeks ago, and they impressed upon him that uh, they are the viable opposition group to be able to negotiate with the, uh, the government of Burundi. Still, when the office of uh, the facilitator issued the invitations, Senared never got the invitation as a group. Do you think this is going to be to have an impact on the consultations? Well, you know, there were some mistakes made in the last round, and I think President Nkapa deserves a lot of credit for taking those challenges head on. I think he's been very clear both in his statements and in his actions that he is willing to meet with all sides and is looking to be very inclusive in this uh, attempt to find an end to the crisis in Burundi. Uh, Sennard has raised some very serious concerns about being seated in a unified fashion. President Museveni, as moderator during the Entebbe round, talked about uh, the importance of everyone uh, being at the table. And we are certainly hoping for a relatively rapid dialogue and conclusion. And the, then limiting the number of actors at the beginning seems to make sense to that. But we're going to defer to the facilitator and his team uh, on the right way to proceed and encourage all sides to participate. Are you optimistic that uh, you know the consultations, the dialogue, is going to bear fruit? It's a solvable problem if the stakeholders come to the table in good faith, uh, if we build on the foundations uh, of the Arusha Accords that helped bring such a violent uh, period in Burundi's history to a close and build a foundation of a decade of peace, uh, of, of integrated institutions that got beyond some of the old ethnic divisions, particularly in the military and in the faith community. So we know the Burundian people have made this commitment and built this foundation. It's a question of whether their leaders have come along with them. And we think the resilience of the Burundian people is a foundation, along with the Arusha Accords, for hopefulness. But it's going to require some statesmanship from leaders on both sides to figure out how to come together uh, to show the same commitment to a peaceful and integrated Burundi that we've seen among the civilian population.